So today's project is to hopefully pull the uh, the window motor out of my truck, fix it, and put it back in. Because the motor itself is fine. This here is the problem: is the motor can no longer push up on the window and push it up to where it's supposed to be. And what we're seeing is it physically works. The problem is, is it is stripped out inside. So to remove the panel first, we need to remove this screw. There's one right here in there. And there's supposed to be a couple along there, but mine doesn't have it. So at this point, press your door lock down and remove your screw here and here, and then lift up. You might have to pull this up a little bit to wiggle it over, but you'll get it. So once your panel's off, your uh, moisture barrier's out, then you're gonna be looking for these little dimples right here, here, and really there should be one like right here, but there's not. So what I'm thinking about doing, seriously, is taking a cutoff wheel and just cutting that on out, because it's non-structural. That way I never have to fool it again, because what you're going to do is cut these out with a drill bit, large enough to get a socket in there for these three bolts and they're an eight millimeter bolt so you're actually going to need something like a 10 millimeter or so hole to fit the socket and everything in there with so i went ahead and just cut that on out gave myself plenty of room to work with now at this point it wouldn't be a bad idea if you had a file to clean up the sharp edges but if you don't whatever slap a piece of tape over it go on just an annoying thing that i found these trucks that they should have given everybody more room they could have easily put these holes here over here you know they could have moved it down they could have moved it in places that would give everybody plenty of room because i don't have particularly large hands but they're thick meaning i can get my hand in there but it's uncomfortable as hell so once you've snaked this uh, window motor out of your door shell, you're going to remove the one single screw that you find. And then from there, you have this plate right here. This is removed. Now, for whatever reason, I've seen some videos that shows having a small snap ring like right here. And I don't see one on this one, so it might be further down. But from what I'm seeing, this one does not have it. Some uh, notes is apparently this is not the original one as it is a Napa Power Supreme, whatever that is. It's remanufactured. Um, looks to have a part number of something plus 9-31 or 52124. Um, that's what came in it. It it actually works this works the problem is is i'm uh, suspecting that this is stripped out and judging by the black crap that's in there i'd say that my assumptions are correct all right here we are so now now in the other videos i've seen this point at this point it should be catching uh, you can actually see the bits right there that i've got to replace these little plastic bits right here this is just chewed up plastic nylon and what replaces it is these now you can replace these with the same size in washers the problem with that is these are a safety feature these are breakaways that if say you or your child hits the button while they have their hand in the track it doesn't just break your kid's hand or shatter the window in their face these will do just what this is did and grind up and just allow the window to not be working so at this point, what we need to do is lift this straight out so that we can replace those pieces after we clean that gear out. All right, so, and, and what you're gonna be seeing here is what I'm gonna show you how this works. This fits down in this triangular portion. What happens is just what I explained Things get caught in the track, the weight of the window itself over the years, 
this dries out with the grease because up here's grease but not down here um, basically at this point what you need to do is clean all these old pieces out and then from there clean it grease these slide them back in because these pieces go in this right here this little curvature and then when you fit them back down in what it does is as it turns it catches on them and that's what actually goes from the power goes from here spins this ring gear against this and then it catches and then turns your window one way or another now uh, you can see my demonstration right there what it does it catches if there's enough but since these are all ground up and torn up there's not enough there So now with this cleaned out, best I could get, what we have to do is put in grease. Now my favorite for this particular application would be white lithium grease. But seeing I don't have any at the moment, because I'm an idiot and I forgot to get it today as I went to the store, we're going to break over and use some just good old red chassis lube. I think this is actually black, but the same difference. Uh, I'm just going to put a thin coat in here. I'm not going to gob it in there just a bit at a time and seat my little clutch packs, I guess you call them, or wedges or paws, however you want to call it. And then it should be good. You can actually see here where I cleaned this out. This was just grease filled with little bits right there. All this is is grease because it's got a worm gear that turns off of this motor. Turns the gears on the back side of this and as it turns it wedges those pieces in but that's it as soon, and like i said you can actually make these uh little pieces here up with metal washers and never have this problem again unless you strip that plastic gear there but i i kind of like the idea of the safety feature because i do have kids and dumb shit happens so there's that. I, I kind of chalk that up anymore. Dumb shit happens to kids. It's If you can think of it, it will happen. But yeah, other than that, uh, like I said, we're going to put grease and these in and start putting it back together. So it's all together. Only thing holding it from being put back in is three bolts and now the test. Everything's plugged back up and... It's working like you can see it physically spin with whereas it wasn't doing anything other than it would spin earlier but there was no actual movement just the motor spinning so other than that put it back together just the way you found it and that's it now on these right here this is for your regulator i did take some of these out because there's four there's one two three four because i got some different bolts to put in there because I didn't like the way that they had kind of cobbled it together. But other than that, this job is finished.